Hi everyone, welcome to Module 6 of Useful Genetics, where we're going to talk about the very exciting new field of personal genomics. We'll start with how personal genomics is used for identification, primarily by the legal system with DNA fingerprinting, and then physician-ordered tests that let us find out the genotype for just one gene. But then, after a little detour to one of my favorite websites, HapMap, we'll consider how genome-wide association studies have enabled us to use um, SNP typing to predict our phenotype for many, many different traits. We'll talk about how the same information can be used to infer your ancestry. And then there's a selection of other topics, um, more advanced ways of analyzing your genes, um, ethical issues that come up, very interesting things people are doing with the personal genomics of pets and livestock, and the role of DNA typing in ecology. Um, also going on this week, of course, are problems and problems for discussion, our discussion forums, and two other important things. The first is the second stage of our Peer Explain Assignment B, where you'll be doing, doing the training and assessment activity, and then lastly, the final exam. Now, in the peer explain assignment, as before, you're writing an explanation to a sort of popular interest question. And then beginning this week, you will be assessing other students' submissions. The details are as before. This week, you're preparing your submission. It's due by Sunday midnight at the same time as the Module 5 graded quiz. At that point, Everybody who's submitted an assignment will move into the evaluation and training stage where they'll first complete three training submissions and then evaluate three or more submissions from fellow students and then get to see their results. As a reminder, if you don't submit an explanation by the sun first Sunday midnight deadline, you won't be able to participate in part two and you won't get any grade. About the final exam, which will begin next week, this coming Friday, it's 25 questions. The questions are very much like those you've seen on the quizzes. And it, you should expect it to take you about two and a half hours of work. And of course, it's open book, like all of our tests. The exam will be available for 10 days, just like the graded quizzes. But the deadline is different. For the final exam, you only have 24 hours to work on it. So you're allowed to start at any time during the 10-day period, but once you've started, you only have 24 hours to complete your work. During that time, you can save your work and come back to it, but once you've submitted it, that's it. If you delay beginning until like, the middle of the last day when it's due, you will only have until midnight to complete it. You won't have the full 24 hours. Now, coming up next is Lecture 6A, where we're going to talk about DNA fingerprinting. I hope to see you there.